Saving money is one of the most important things you can do for your financial security. In difficult times, it can be the difference between getting by or struggling to make ends meet. If you can't save money, then your options to make more of it will always be limited. That's why it's important to have a plan in place and know how to effectively save money. In this video, we'll discuss some practical money saving hacks to help you maximize your income. Welcome to Epic State, your home for money, mindset, and motivation. The first tip is to have different accounts for different purposes. One of the best kept secrets of pro savers is having separate bank accounts for saving, bills, monthly spending, and investing. This simple hack helps you stay organized and on track with your financial goals without overspending or getting caught out. This is similar to the concept of having different money buckets. By automating all of your fixed bills from one account and transferring that sum each month, it allows you to set and forget them. The same goes for saving and investing. If your income is automatically divided when it comes in, then this makes it easier to know where you stand and what your monthly budget is. If you keep all of your money in one account, then it's too easy to overspend. Savvy savers know that the best way to save money is to make things as transparent as possible. By separating your money as it comes in, you make following your plan easier. Number two, make a weekly meal plan. A great way to save money is to meal plan. Yes, I know it's boring and can be a lot of work if cooking, but food, drinks, and entertainment tend to be the biggest cost variables we have. If you are reactive in this area, then you will make bad or expensive decisions. Let's say you come back from a hard day at the office and don't have food ready. You are more likely to then order out. By thinking ahead and planning your meals for the week, you can avoid overspending on ingredients that you'll only use once and end up throwing away. Make a list of all your meals you want to make ahead of time, and then create a grocery list based on those items. Make sure to only buy what you need for the week and resist the urge to impulse buy items that are not on your list. Meal planning may take a bit of effort up front, but it will definitely pay off in the long run. Plus, you'll always know what's for dinner. Number three, challenge every cost. If you're looking to get ahead financially, it's important to challenge every cost in your budget. This may seem like a daunting task, but with a little creativity and determination, it can be surprisingly easy to save big bucks, even on the most necessary expenses. For instance, ask yourself if you really need something, check suppliers of your monthly bills, and price check different stores. You could also challenge yourself to find ways to save on transportation costs. Can you carpool with friends or colleagues? or take public transport instead of driving. Even small changes can add up to significant savings over time. So don't be afraid to challenge your spending habits. Number four, review your card statements. Reviewing your credit card statements may not sound like the most exciting way to spend an afternoon, but it can be a real eye-opener when it comes to saving money. By taking a close look at your spending habits, you can identify areas where you're wasting money and make changes that will help you maximize your income. For example, you may find that you're paying for subscriptions that you no longer use, or that you're being charged hidden fees by your credit card company. Reviewing your statements can also help you spot fraudulent charges before they do serious damage to your financial health. So put on a pot of coffee and dig into those statements. Number five, use the 30-day rule. If you're looking to save money, one of the best things you can do is use the 30-day rule. Basically, this rule states that before you make any large purchase, you should wait 30 days to see if you still want it. This cooling off period gives you time to really think about whether you need the item and allows you to save up for it if it's something that you really want. In the meantime, you might find that you don't even want the item anymore. Using the 30-day rule is a great way to make sure you only spend money on things that you really need or want. Number six, staying in is the new going out. For many people, the thought of staying home on a Friday night is simply unthinkable. However, savvy savers know that staying in is the new going out. Your largest monthly cost is normally your home, so you may as well make good use of it. By staying home, you can save money on expensive nights out and still have a great time. There's no need to spend money every week on going to the movies or going out to eat when you can stay in and have just as much fun. Get some friends together and have a movie night at home or host a potluck dinner party. Ultimately, what you do when going out can also be done at someone's house for a fraction of the cost. Staying in doesn't have to be boring. With a little creativity, you can have a blast without spending hundreds of dollars in the process. 
So next time you're tempted to go out, think about inviting friends around instead. With that said, we've come to the end of today's video. If you found value in it, then please hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more weekly money, mindset, and motivation. Until next time.